Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of my LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. This will be a shorter episode as we're only doing a duration test. Why doing a duration test? Well, you know every company does its duration tests. Even IKEA opens a drawer like 100,000 times to see when it breaks down. And that's also what I'm trying to accomplish. Not that I want to break the crane, but I want to test it. If the system works fine, not with only one sequence of moving containers like you've seen in the previous episode, but doing 10 sequences and see if the system still works just fine. Now I told you in the previous episode that the crane once in a while needs to initialize to reduce the offset that is building up by using the rotational encoders of the, in the motors. So that's what you'll see also in this test. So the whole test will take approximately 10 minutes but um, I won't bother you with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the video otherwise you're gonna have uh, 10 minutes of boring video of moving containers and when there's a problem or something then uh, I'll slow it down. Um, I expect some problems, it's the first erasing test, I haven't tested it yet so I believe that there will be a problem here and there but that's something we have to uh, see for. Alright, I'm gonna enable the system and then let's see what it does. It's going now to its initializing phase first. You see that the uh, compressor is already at 30, uh, 43 psi. As you can see, it's quite off here now. And uh, let's see what the system does, if it can handle a container that positions like this. Well, no problem anymore. The first error. Oh, but it's posted nicely. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's it. I'm a bit uh, flabbergasted, honestly. I didn't expect it to do it this well. I've built myself a pretty reliable machine. There was one, one little, well, pretty big mistake, and that was with this, uh, let me just, with that container over there. It um, didn't go up all the way, so it, uh, when the crane started moving, it banged to this side over here and the grabber lost a bit of grip and so it was hanging like diagonally. But a miracle happened because when the container was placed again on the uh, monorail, it was just set up nicely like it's supposed to be. So that was uh, pretty awesome. So it's like a, a self-repairing system, but not intentionally. Uh, another thing that I noticed was the uh, cables over here. 
um, this, this one is going a bit strange. And there was also one time that these cables were between this and this. So when the um, crane is initializing, it doesn't go all the way to the back. So that might have given some troubles, but it didn't, fortunately. So that's something I need to figure out. So I'm very, very happy with this result. And, and I didn't honestly think that it would go like this. It has been working for 15 minutes and it's just going great. Unbelievable. So what's next? Well, next is that, um, yeah, I think we're gonna need to make a train stop and see if we can reproduce this. Because right now the monorail, and especially the train wagons, they are on a they are on a fixed position right now, and that's of course a bit different when um, when a train is rolling in and um, it's stopped and it's stopped pretty accurately. It won't be stopped on the same position every every time it rolls in. So that's going to be an issue. So that's the next step that I'm going to do: extend the railway a bit. Maybe I have to put it on the floor. I don't know yet and I have to add a sensor to make the train stop at the right position. So that's going to be the next step. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!